Welcome to another episode of The Man in the Arena. Today, we're delving into a topic that might challenge some of our own habits and perceptions, the benefits of abstaining from alcohol. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Why would I give up something that seems so ingrained in our social fabric? Well, stick with me for the next few minutes, and I promise you'll see why choosing not to drink can elevate you to becoming a higher value man. Let's start with the facts. Alcohol consumption might be socially acceptable, but that doesn't mean it's harmless. In fact, the damage it inflicts on our bodies and mental health is significant. According to Dr. Andrew Huberman, a neuroscientist at Stanford University who has extensively researched this topic, alcohol disrupts our sleep patterns, decreases our ability to learn and remember, and can lead to depression and anxiety. Yes, you heard that right. Alcohol, the very substance we often turn to for relaxation, can actually worsen our mental well-being. But it doesn't stop there. The physical toll alcohol takes on our bodies is undeniable. From liver damage to increased risk of cancer, the list of health issues associated with alcohol consumption is extensive. And let's not forget about its impact on our appearance. Most men just have to look at their own midsections. That extra weight around their midsection isn't just an inconvenience, it's a sign of potential health complications down the road. When COVID-19 struck in March 2020, the world as we knew it changed overnight. Lockdowns were enforced, and many businesses and institutions shut their doors, including schools. Yet, amidst the chaos, there was one glaring inconsistency. Liquor stores and cannabis dispensaries remained open. This disparity gave me pause. Was there a deeper message here? It seemed while everything else was shutting down to protect public health, quote unquote, the authorities saw fit to keep these establishments operating. It made me wonder, was a strategy to keep our people numb, high, and drunk during this time of crisis? It was a stark realization that forced me to reevaluate the role of alcohol in our society and its true impact on our well-being. Now, some of you might be thinking, but what about moderation? Can't I just have a few drinks here and there? You can. I'm not going to stop you. But according to Dr. Huberman's research, even moderate alcohol consumption can have negative effects on our brain chemistry and overall health. The truth is, there is no safe level of alcohol consumption when it comes to maximizing our physical and mental well-being. So what's the alternative? Choosing not to drink? Now, I know this might seem like a radical idea, especially in a culture that often glorifies alcohol consumption. But trust me when I say that embracing sobriety can lead to a life of clarity, focus, and vitality. Now, let me share my own journey with you. My last sip of alcohol was on July 24th, 2022. I remember it vividly. It was a daily special Moscow mule. It tasted like shit and had more water in it than the Suez Canal. If I would have only known this was going to be my last drink, I definitely would have gone for a top shelf bourbon or tequila. See, I was a social drinker, always looking forward to that next trick to cut that edge off. I wasn't an alcoholic, or so I thought. It wasn't until I took a step back and evaluated how alcohol was truly impacting my life that I realized I needed to make a change. And so, I chose sobriety. One day at a time, I made the conscious decision not to drink. I didn't focus on tomorrow or next week. I simply chose not to drink today. And you know what? It has been liberating. I find myself waking up with a newfound sense of clarity and purpose, no longer shackled by the chains of alcohol. By abstaining from alcohol, I not only improved my physical health, but also my mental well-being. I discovered what it truly means to live life to the fullest, free from constraints of alcohol, and you can too. Have I quit drinking alcohol forever? I don't know. But I can tell you, I'm not having a drink today. So, to all the men listening out there, I encourage you to consider the benefits of not drinking alcohol. Take a step back and evaluate how alcohol 
is truly impacting your life, your health, and your relationships. And remember, you are the man in the arena, the one who dares to live boldly, authentically, and soberly. Thank you for tuning in to today's episode of The Man in the Arena. Until next time, stay strong, stay sober, and keep striving to become the best version of yourself. God bless.